Hello, this is the Trade Site US, I'm sorry, Forex Market Preview, an international economic data roadmap for the week beginning Sunday, December 29th, 2019. Yep, that's right, that puts us at the end of the year and ending Friday, January 3rd, 2020, the end of a decade. Another weird week because New Year's Day is on Wednesday and the market's closed, including Forex. And, of course, really because of that interruption, usually unless there's news, not much is going to happen. So here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Here's what happened this week. Remember, we were closed on Wednesday for Christmas and, uh, you know, kind of dipped finally on Friday a bit. Let's go through the data. Uh, the individual ones, so you got euro, dollar here. Oopsie. Um, on the rise, the inverse of the dollar index, as usual, the pound didn't do much, but it popped a little bit on Friday. We had a decent winter Friday to close out the week, 80 pips. Uh, here's the Aussie dollar, made new highs for the last six months, we'll call it. Uh, Euro yen has a 13 sell signal. So that's interesting. Um, we'll see if that comes into play. The pound yen, uh, not much there. 13 sell signal was right at the top. Pound Swiss, not much there. And the New Zealand dollar pair uh, came up a bit. Now let's look at the intraweek action. So here's 30 minute candles. And again, remembering, you got to slide this because this is really the whole week right here, right? Um, we opened on uh, we opened on Sunday and closed on Wednesday and reopened on Thursday. And so as you can see, it was really very narrow. The whole week ends up being 130 pips, not even that, 120 pips. And most of that was on Friday. If you look at the pound, it's pretty much the same story. Uh, high to low for the week is actually it's a little more, 220 pips. That's why we were able to make some money. It's an interesting week to have gained uh, in the markets when everything is just so flat. All right, so what's the game plan this week? I mean, it's the end of the year, and it's, like I said, we've got this horrible holiday order. So let's just go through the economic data. We'll have calls Sunday night. We'll have calls Monday night. There's no calls Tuesday going into Wednesday because the market's closed. Wednesday going into Thursday, we'll have calls, but they're usually not great because of the market being closed on Wednesday. And then Thursday going into Friday, we're off and running for next year until... Uh, for, at least for a while, there's no holidays. All right, um, Monday, KOF economic barometer out of Switzerland, Spanish CP, flash CPI out of Europe, high street lending out of the UK, Italian 10-year bond auction, goods trade balance um, <clears throat> here in the U.S., along with preliminary wholesale inventories, Chicago PMI after that, pending home sales after that, Japan's on bank holiday, uh, I'm guessing probably all week the way they go after it, manufacturing PMI and non-manufacturing PMI out of China. Tuesday, Germany's already on bank holiday. Japan and New Zealand are still on bank holiday. U.S. has their housing price index and the CB consumer confidence. Just keep in mind, while we're talking about Forex here, the stock market here in the U.S. is open on a full day on Tuesday, where it was, a, whereas it was a half day for Christmas Eve. However, the rule of the markets is the last trading day of the year has to be a full trading day. So the stock market will be open. It doesn't mean anybody's going to be doing anything. Nobody wants to sell their stocks and lock in their gains for the year and pay taxes when they could just wait a couple days. On uh, Wednesday, everybody's closed for bank holiday. Coming back on Thursday, Australia's commodity prices. Swiss, Switzerland's still on bank holiday. By the way, so is Japan. Uh, Japan's on bank holiday. Every day but Friday this week. They reopened just for Friday. Very weird. Uh, Spanish, Italian, French, German, and the broad European and UK final manufacturing PMI numbers all in a row. Unemployment, that's the initial and continuing jobless claims numbers here in the U.S. Manufacturing PMI out of Canada. Final manufacturing PMI out of the U.S. Um, and then we got a Friday nationwide housing price index out of the U.K. German and French preliminary CPI numbers. Spanish unemployment. Manufacturing PMI out of Switzerland. German unemployment change. M3 money supply out of Europe along with private loans. Construction PMI. M3 money supply. Mortgage approvals. Net lending to individuals out of the U.K. ISAB manufacturing PMI. Construction spending, wards, total vehicle sales, natty gas here in the U.S., crude oil inventories here in the U.S. Remember, that's usually Wednesday, but because of the holiday, everything's pushed to Friday. Natty gas and crude oil. Natty gas is usually Thursday. Uh, a couple of Fed members speaking, and that is it. So I don't know what to expect from a week with the holiday right dead in the middle. It kind of sucks. Um, you know, once we get past uh, January 1st, obviously, things get back to normal. So maybe by Friday we'll see some normal things. If not, it'll be next week, and we'll get back to work. Welcome to the 2020s. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks of a great trading week.